The legacy system was inspired by the fact that Star Wars is really, it has a lot to do with family. In fact, one of the most famous family relationships in cinema is the relationship between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. There's a lot of fans out there who want to have their own Skywalker type family tree. And the ability to create your own last name and to create essentially your own family dynamic I think is going to appeal to a lot of players. No one's really ever done uh, a system where your characters have these ties. People sometimes like to imagine that their characters are related to each other, but it's been a part of our design to actually really make that official since the very early stages of the game. In our system, you can actually build sort of that relationship tree and say, hey, this, this guy was the parent to this guy, and this guy was the brother to this guy, and this guy was the ally to this guy, uh, and, and sort of get a map of uh, how your legacy all relates to each other. There is a ton of content that you're not going to see on a single character with different things that are coming everywhere from the flashpoints, the eight different storylines, and all the different information. And the legacy is a way to tie everything together. A big part of what we're doing at Legacy is making it easier and more convenient to play your next character and the character after that. Because you've already spent this time with your main character, maybe there are some things that your next character learned from his father or from his mother that make your journey through the world easier the next time. You gain legacy experience points from doing the same activities that you gain normal experience points from. And those legacy experience points gain you legacy levels. As you go up in legacy levels, you unlock new abilities, you gain the ability to purchase other abilities, and these abilities change how you can play the game. Getting social points in the legacy system will now give you roleplay emote packages. So we went through the entire game and we found every great piece we had, and then we created some new ones. One of the things that we wanted the legacy system to do was have a little bit there for all the different type of players. And role-playing is no different. One of the most exciting things we're doing is species unlocks, which allow you, if you take a character to level 50 with a given species, then you'll be able to roll your next character as that species. So if you take a Sith Pureblood to level 50, you'll actually be able to roll a Sith Pureblood Smuggler or Jedi Knight because your father was a Sith, and so even though your character is on the Republic side, he's a Sith Pureblood. We're doing that for uh, every race and class combination. If you hit certain benchmarks in your class player story, we're going to give you unlocks for that, for example, might allow you to, I don't know, force choke somebody while you're playing an agent. And we're going to have some good controls on that to be sure that it's mostly fun and mostly, you know, kind of toys, but at the same time we really want to add some flair to the experience. It allows you to live out that fantasy, and I know a lot of fans have this fantasy of when, you know, you have someone who's not a Jedi or a Sith, but has an affinity for the Force. So if you create a bounty hunter that's a part of the legacy system where you have a high-level Jedi Knight, that bounty hunter might be able to use certain force abilities that his parents had access to. One of the things that you're going to start seeing drop throughout the game world is what we call buying them legacy gear. There'll be items that are specifically restricted to your legacy that you can trade freely amongst the characters on your account. So, you know, it may bind when your Sith warrior picks it up, but then he can mail it to your Imperial Agent character. That character can get sort of a head start with good gear uh, early on. For players who don't like to play multiple characters, they have their one character and, and that's the only character they're gonna play. Uh, the legacy system still has benefits to them. You still gain legacy experience points, you still gain legacy levels, and those will still give you unlocks. I think I'm most excited about getting to see what combinations of unlocks people get and seeing these characters out in the wild. I'm, I'm excited to see Sith Purebloods on the, the Republic side and you know, Chiss Jedi Knights and see what players come up with as their personal fictions for, for you know, how this, this came about. We are constantly looking for ways to expand the legacy system. Not only new abilities that we can have, just new ways that we can bring legacy into the whole system. So I, this next version of the legacy system you have is, is really just the beginning. The legacy system is something we're gonna support for years. Uh, we have a team that's entirely focused on continuing to add new abilities, new perks, and some other secret stuff I can't really give details about right now. But suffice to say, you're gonna see new stuff in the legacy system for many, many months to come.